My name is Miss Julia and I work at the Edward F. Fry Memorial Library in Point of Rocks. I am here today to teach some ASL and our topic today is actually signs related to COVID-19. I know that sounds a little scary to some people, but that's okay. We're here to show you some signs that will help you understand a little bit more about COVID and how to describe it using your hands. And with me, I am joined today by Cheryl, Miss Cheryl from a different branch. Say hi, Cheryl. <laughs> hi, everybody. I'm Miss Cheryl, and I'm from the Emmitsburg and Thurmont branches. And I'm really excited to be here today, too, and to learn from Miss Julia um, some signs to be able to understand and help communicate um, around COVID. Yeah, just a little bit. I think, yeah, I think it's great. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first sign is going to actually be the sign for COVID. Now, most signs, uh, friends, have, you know, actual just you know, sort of one motion signs. Uh, the sign for COVID is, so far is just finger spelling. So get your phalanges ready. <laughs> We're going to do some finger spelling. And hopefully you can see I'm going to be making the uh, letters with my hand against this sheet here. So hopefully you can see pretty clearly. Uh, so we're going to start with just spelling it. So C O V I D. So we're oh, just spelling. I'm, no, you're can good. We that, can we do that one more time? Just Again? Absolutely. C O V I D. So yep, with your with your index. Oh, okay. Yep. So the D is your middle ring and pinky finger connected to your thumb and then your index finger up. So it looks like kind of like a lowercase D, but it's backwards. Okay. <laughs> so perfect. Yes. Yeah. C-O-V-I-D. Yeah, that's the sign for COVID. So it's a little tricky, but that's okay. With practice, finger spelling gets very easy. So finger spelling <laughs> can get a lot easier uh, with, with time. All right. So the second sign that we want to learn today is the sign for pandemic. That's a word we hear all the time. And the sign for pandemic is actually very easy. You take your fists and knuckles up under your lip like that, pandemic. And you wiggle your fingers out, it's a pandemic. So the idea here is that it spreads. And then I guess the wiggling of the fingers is all the boogies, is all the little, <laughs> all the little, all the gross stuff that comes out. So yeah, this is the sign for pandemic. Uh, the next sign is the sign for sick. Now, sick can uh, can be applied to obviously the COVID pandemic or any time you're sick. <laughs> um, so you're actually going to be utilizing your middle fingers for this. So if you show me your middle fingers like that, that's perfect. I'm going to take my left one. This is my dominant hand. I'm going to put the middle finger right here in the middle of my forehead. And then the other one, it should go down closer to my tummy, but for today, <laughs> because Miss Cheryl and I are not super tall, <laughs> we're going to Go ahead and put it right here at our chest. I'm sick. And you can make a face like I'm sick. Oh, I don't feel good. Because if you're smiling and doing this, it doesn't really give context to the sign. But if you're like, oh, I'm kind of sick. Oh, oh, so I'm sick, sick. So many people are getting sick with the pandemic. So, uh, Another phrase that we hear a lot, uh, or we've heard a lot over the, over the last year, is stay home. <laughs> so we're gonna take, we're gonna take the ASL uh, sign for the letter Y. And normally if we're signing just the letter, the hand shape for Y, we do this. Um, but for stay, we're gonna turn it down. So stay, stay. And this can go for your dog, a toddler, anything, stay. And then we're going to make the sign for home, home. So stay home. Yep, yep, just break it down, stay home. That's awesome. Um, uh, the next sign is the sign for mask, because it's very important to wear masks. <laughs> um, so we're going to actually take uh, both hands again and make C's, but not a full C, like, like C's like this. And we're just going to bring it up to our mouth like this and just Mask. Mask. Sorry, Miss Cheryl. I'm like looking at my own side. I'm trying to like look, <laughs> <laughs> look up. So mask. Mask. That's perfect. Awesome. 
The next sign we're going to learn is the sign for quarantine. Uh, now, this is actually very similar as Ms. Cheryl and I were discussing before we started recording. Uh, this is very similar to the sign for prison um, because prison is something, it, it goes like this, or sometimes I've seen it like this, um, like jail. Uh, well, this is kind of similar to that, but not the same. It's not the same. You're going to take two fingers here and two fingers here, and you're just going to bring them together. You're just going to bring them together just like that. Yep, quarantine. So if you're telling someone, you know, you know, I can't come over, I'm in quarantine. Yeah, I'm in quarantine because I'm sick with pandemic, <laughs> with, with COVID. Mm -hmm. um, all right, and the last sign we're gonna learn is a very exciting sign. It's the sign for vaccine. <laughs> um, yay! yay! <laughs> so good. Um, so we're gonna again, take our two fingers here, just middle and in, uh, index and middle finger. And it's a bit of a quick one. So hopefully you can see it on my arm here, but you go down like this, you just bring it down. And then as you connect your fingers to your arm, you're going to kind of bring your thumb forward like you're going to get like like a, a shot there like a needle there so it's your vaccine 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 yeah yeah it's a good idea to get the vaccine <laughs> um and yeah but those are the signs so let's do a quick review of all of them and and we'll we'll do them together okay okay so we have the sign for COVID. Remember, this is finger spelled. So it's C-O-V-I-D. Very we good. <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah, every time. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, once, once you get it, you get it, and it'll never go away. So COVID. Yeah. C-O-V-I-D. When it comes to finger spelling, it's it's like you have to do warm ups like a musician would have to, you know, to to practice the piano or the violin. You really have to, to get your fingers all loose up. So we did COVID, and then the next sign is pandemic. So go pandemic, pandemic. Yeah, very good. The next sign is sick. So we'll say sick. Oh, sick. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, the next sign is to stay home. We're going to stay home. Very good. The next sign is mask. We're going to do this and then mask. Mask. The next sign is quarantine. So remember it's just quarantine. Quarantine. Very good. And the last one, the most exciting of them all, vaccine. <laughs> <Very good. laughs> like that vaccine there you go all right well thank you all so much for joining miss cheryl and myself in this fun adventure on covid related signs because a lot of things are covid related these days but that's okay um there's all kinds of websites and all kinds of new information coming out about covid and there's always going to be american sign language to interpret it um so go ahead and practice these signs at home and teach yourselves at home if you like uh it's a lot of fun uh, thank you again, Miss Cheryl, for joining me in on this fun. Thank you, Miss Julia, of course. for teaching me these great signs. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that now I'm a little bit more informed um, about how to use them with COVID. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I when I was helping with the uh, vaccine clinic a few weeks ago, I realized, oh, I should probably probably learn a few of these. These are very important signs. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, well, thank you all so much for joining Ms. Cheryl and myself. Uh, as always, you can check out uh, Frederick County Public Library's website, fcpl.org, for more programs like this and a lot of other programs, uh, virtual learning um, all over the place. So take care, everyone. Thanks Happy for signing. Joining us. Stay thank safe. You. Stay safe. Bye.